Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Rosa. How are you today? Very good. I'm tired, Rosa. Oh, yeah. It's Friday. Friday? Yes, Friday. <laughs> do, do you work on Saturday? It's Friday. Yes, I... Yeah, uh, thank, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> thank God, <laughs> thank God, yes, thank God, today is Friday, <laughs> yeah, it will be nice to get up a little late tomorrow, I don't know, do, do you work on weekends, do you work on Saturdays? Um, yes. Oh, okay, so it's uh, half a day or the whole day? Um, I, I, only in the I morning. Only in the morning. Uh, uh, only, only, only Friday. Oh, okay. Uh, so the, you don't the work the Monday, Monday or Friday. Okay, from Monday to yeah. Friday. Friday. Okay, Monday to Friday. Okay, good, good. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. So tomorrow you are resting. It's your day off. Nice. Day off. Day off <laughs> means via libre. Okay. Weekend is off. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. We can, we can, we can free. <laughs> okay. Uh, instead of saying free, you say off. Okay. Off the weekend free. off. No, only off. Weekend off. off. Uh, we can off. Off. Free. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> we can off free. Yes. No, just we can off. Sin uh -huh. decir free. Okay. Ah. Uh, uh, yes. Okay. I don't work okay. on weekends, so my weekends are off. Okay. I have the weekend off. Weekend yeah. off. Weekend okay. off. Okay. Good. Hello, Walter Mauricio. Good evening. Welcome. How are you today? Hello, teacher. Hey, hey. I am happy. Okay, nice. I'm happy, happy. Yeah, because yeah, it is Friday. Happy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and to, tomorrow, uh, I not go. Oh, yeah. great, great. You don't yeah, yeah, work yeah, on yeah. Saturdays. Uh, we had the... Payment, the company, in the company. Oh, money, money. money. <laughs> uh, yes, yes. Okay, uh, good, okay. good. I can tell you're happy, yeah. Walter. Okay, hello, Carlos Antonio. Yeah. Good evening. Welcome to your class tonight. Thank you, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? Fine. Today I, I'm fine, teacher. I'm uh, I really had a, a very busy week. Uh, oh. Today, I finally, I, I finished with uh, uh, sometimes, uh, what do you say, tareas, teacher? Uh, tasks. 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 Uh -huh. Okay, and so today, I, I finally, I, 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 I find, uh, You finished. Finish. Uh -huh. I finished okay. uh, uh, my task. Sometimes that's um, some of them, uh, okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, but today is Friday. <laughs> oh, yeah, today is Friday. Let's relax. And do you work on Saturdays? No, teacher. I'm I nice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, nice. I usually work on Saturdays, but this Saturday I'm not going to work. Okay. So, yeah, I have this Saturday off. Oh, uh, hello, Elvia. How are you tonight? Hello, teacher. How are you tonight? I'm fine. 
Great, that's nice to hear. What about you? Do you work on Saturdays? No. Excellent, so you are having some rest tomorrow. Nice, yes. <laughs> nice. Okay, but do you usually um, get up early or late on Saturdays? Get up early. Oh, you'll get up early on Saturdays? <laughs> oh, okay. That's yes. just for, yeah, okay, okay. What about you, uh, Rosa? Do you get up early on Saturdays? Oh, Get up. Get up. Yep. Up. In the morning. Yeah. yeah. Do oh. you get up early? Early in the morning? On Saturdays? Um, what time do you get up on Saturdays? Uh, 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 it's uh, seven, seven. Very uh, early. <laughs> 7 a.m. Okay, then shame on me because I oh, I usually get up at 11 when I don't work on Saturdays. <laughs> Even though I have a little girl, but um, I get up at 6 and then I go back to sleep. <laughs> okay, well, this is nice. We are happy because today is Friday. Okay. Reposition. Yeah. The script. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. We, uh -huh. we uh, replace, um, we recover. We recover from uh, the whole week on Saturdays, right? We okay. recover. Okay, guys, I think um, we're going to start. I'm going to take the attendance. Please, uh, please uh, remind me, remember me um, when maybe five more minutes and we're gonna start, we're gonna start with a little exercise, okay? Now, let me see. Okay, now just let me go here. Do you see that? Uh huh. Do you see that? What does it say? What does it say in that question? Can you read the question for me, please? What did you do last weekend? What did you do last weekend? Do you see that on your screen? Yes. Do you see some pictures? Okay. Okay, now, uh, can you tell me what do you see in this picture? Just let me show you there, okay? Um, the in this picture, what do you see here? What do you see in this picture? Uh, reading, reading, reading a book. Someone uh, is reading uh, a book, yes. Uh, and take coffee. And drinking coffee, yes. Drinking coffee. Drinking coffee, excellent. What do you see in this other picture? Um, the, park, the park. The park. Uh -huh. uh, Mm -hmm. eh, 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 montar eh, bacon, bacon, rice, rice, bacon, rice, right bacon, uh, uh -huh. rice, bacon, bacon, bacon. Uh, okay, riding a bike. People riding are a, riding a bike. bike. Yes, on so, the park, right? They are at the park. They are at the park. Yeah, I think this is the a park. Baker, Baker. Riding a bike. Riding a bike. Okay, riding. they are riding a, a bike. But now, what do you see in this picture? 
office. The office. The office. So maybe work, right? Work, a job, um, a workplace. Okay. Work An work. office, a workplace. Yes. What do you see here in this other picture? Teatro Nacional. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Nacional. Right. The, Is the it? El Salvador. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh -huh. The National Theater of El Salvador. Okay. Of El Salvador. But we are Salvadorian, so we don't say El Salvador usually. Salvador. Usually we say El Salvador, right? Mm -hmm. El Salvador. That's the name of our country, El Salvador. Okay. Okay. Pero imagínense ustedes, uh, esto les sucede mucho a los que hablan inglés, um, que no, no entienden cuando se les dice, por ejemplo, en nuestro propio acento, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Si ustedes le dicen, por ejemplo, ah, ese es el te uh, National Theater of El Salvador. They don't know where El Salvador is. They know where El Salvador is. Okay. They know where El Salvador is. Y por solidaridad, nosotros lo decimos en inglés también, ¿verdad? Nosotros oh, okay. también decimos el nombre de nuestro país en inglés, ¿ok? Aunque suena más lindo en nuestro propio acento, ¿verdad? Ah. <laughs> ok. Well, let's continue here. We are seeing in this picture that uh, there it oh. is, the National Theater of El Salvador. Okay, what do you see in the last picture here? On the beach. Oh, on the yes. Beach. Do you like going to the beach? Uh, do beach. you do you like going there? Yes, uh, I like the beach. <laughs> okay, excellent. I like the, beach, uh, the best, the best uh -huh. uh, for me. Okay, that's what you prefer. Okay, that's your favorite place to go. Walter, what beach do you usually visit? What beach do you usually visit? Um, um, two, three, four. Um, For example, tell me a year. name of it. El Tunco or uh, where? Oh, yeah. Like, uh, Tunco and the beach. Uh, El, el, el muelle. Oh, ok, ok. El, uh -huh. el, de, de, el puerto de, de la libertad. libertad, ok. El malecón, right? Uh -huh. Male ok, el malecón, eh, Costa del Sol. Ok. Ok, do you see? Sí. Oh, yeah, I love those places too. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful going to the beach. It's a very relaxing uh, trip. Yeah, to stay there, to stay there. Even though for women with a family, it's kind of stressing. But I think we uh, do the arrangements to, to have a good time in there, right? So, Okay, this is just for you to remember. Have that in mind because I'm going to ask some questions after or later, after some other topics. We're going to make this question to you. We're going to ask this question to you, okay? What do you do last weekend? And you are going to make sentences with these pictures. But now I want you to remember something first, okay? Okay, here we have a conversation. This is a conversation between a customer and a customer service representative, okay? Between a customer and a customer rep uh, service representative. So let's read, okay? Let's read. This is for you to remember how to ask questions confirming information and how to answer these kind of questions, okay? Let me read them, okay? It says, did you ever forget to check your institutional email account? Did you ever forget to check your institutional email account? No, I never did. Yes, I did. Okay, this is a very interesting question. I'm going to ask you later about that. Now, let's read the, the next conversation. 
Did the customer service representative send a receipt and the orders detailed to your inbox? Did the customer service representative send a receipt and the orders detailed to your inbox? The answer could be no, he didn't, or yes, he did. Okay, yes, he did. How to ask questions confirming information. In this case, we are talking about email something, right? Do you have, by, by the way, do you have an institutional email account? Do you have an email from your institution? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do, because you have it. You have it. Now, did you ever forget to check your institutional email account? Yes, I do. Okay, now. ¿Se les ha olvidado alguna vez revisarlo? Did you ever forget to check your institutional email account? Yes, I did. Okay, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Uh, is there any consequence um, when that happened? Is there a, uh, any consequence that you can tell me about? Right. When you forget uh -huh. to read your institutional email? Yes, yes teacher, yes, there is yes. a, in my case, there is a problem if I forget to check my email because in, in my work, usually, we, we usually every day, every time the email, and um, because this is um, the first uh, way to communicate at, at the co-workers. Okay, with your yes. team. Yes. Okay. Yes, it's very important. What do you think, Rosa? Uh, my case is uh, uh, the problem is so, uh, um, the uh, but, uh, uh, re retraso, uh, delays, delays, delays in, in my work. Okay, okay. Uh, so you see, there are consequences when we uh, forget to check uh, our uh, email uh, on time uh, on in the proper time, right? So. Ayer y antier, bueno, y varios días atrás, varios de ustedes me han preguntado, bueno, teacher, y, y en inglés también contestamos así, yes, I did, no, I didn't, porque yo veo en las películas, en, oigo en las canciones de que no lo responden así como estamos viéndolo como de libro, right? Pero en realidad, déjenme decirles que aquí aprendemos eh, la forma gramatical correcta, ¿verdad? Obviamente en la calle y con la práctica, ustedes van a ir adquiriendo como una versatilidad a la hora de contestar. Oh, now, I want to give you a good answer. A good answer when someone asks, did you ever forget? Okay. Did you ever forget? You answer with the frequency, with the frequency that you do that action. For example, here, did you ever forget to check your institutional email account? You can properly say, no, I never did, right? No, I never did. That's the frequency, right? Never, never. Here, also, you can say, oh, yes, I always did, right? I always did, or I sometimes did. Okay, we can answer with the frequency when someone asks these kind of questions. Okay, now let's see the next, the next question. Did the customer service representative send a receipt and the orders detailed to your inbox? Did the customer service representative send a receipt and the orders detailed to your inbox? Now the answer could be no, he didn't, or if he did, then yes, he did, okay? Now, 
Can you read this question for me, please? Everybody activate your audio and read this question. Me. Okay. Number one. Okay, if you want that. Okay. Did you ever forget to check your institution, institutional email account? No, I never did. Yes, I did. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you. Now, who wants to read the next conversation? Who wants to? Elvia, do you want to? Uh, my case is No, he didn't. Okay, Walter, okay. Okay, you never did, okay. Now, Elvia, please, can you read the next question? Did the, did the customer service representative send the receipt and the order det detail to your inbox? Okay, good. What will be the answer? No, he didn't. No, yes, he did. Okay, correct. What is inbox? Can someone tell me what inbox is? Can anyone it's, tell me? Yes, it is the, the, the inbox is the, in, in email, is the, is the, place that the, you reside the, usually your, your email. Okay, it's the principal box or the principal yeah. folder where the emails um, get in, right? To your account. Yes, correct. Your email account. So we can replace here also to your email, right? Instead of, instead of inbox, we could say to your email we could replace it, right? So what is the order's detail? What is the order's detail? Order's detail. There, there is a list, teacher. It's a list or checklist. If you, maybe you buy uh, any product online, for example, and okay. the customer service can send you a copy of your your invoice or your um, or, or details about your bow. Okay, excellent. The list of the products uh, and the description of the products and the price of the products are are included in that list, right? Uh, it could be the purchase order. It could be another kind of order, but it's an order, okay? So now let's see next one. Let's see next one, okay? And let's do this little conversation. Just let me take the attendance at this moment, okay? Let me take the attendance, please. Angeli Magali Coronado Diaz. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Carlos Ernesto Rogel. Carlos, are you there? No, no, Carlos. Okay. There we go. Eduardo Ademir Noyola Brito. Eleani Alejandra Nativi Rivera. Elvia Janet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present teacher. Okay. Fausto Antonio. Landa Verde López. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Okay, Francisco, welcome. Carla María Los Guevara Callejas. Present teacher. Present teacher. Hello, Carla. Leslie Fernández Ochoa. Present teacher. Hi, Leslie. Maria Fernanda Gavidia Guerrero. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Rosa Esperanza Vázquez de Girón. 
Present teacher. Ok, Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Walter Mauricio. Present Mor teacher. Oh, thank you, Silvia. Thank God you are there. Um, present, present. Ok, Walter, thank you very much. Eh, Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. And William Isaac Montoya Ávila. Okay. There we are. Okay, let's continue with these conversations. Just let me get there. Okay, they are talking about a package. They are talking about a package. Okay, now let's read conversation number one. And it says, did you check the spam folder? It might be there. Yes, I checked my spam, but I didn't receive any email from your store. Yes, I checked my spam, but I didn't receive any email from your, your store. I'm going to read it again, okay? Did you check the spam folder? It might be there. Yes, I checked my spam, but I didn't receive any email from your store. Okay, now let's see. I want you to read it with me. Please activate your audio. Did you check the spam folder? Did you check, did did you you check, check the spam folder? Did you check the spam folder? It might be there. It, it might, might be there. 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 Yes, I checked my spam. Yes, yes. I, yes. I, I, I checked my spam. But I um, didn't receive any email from your store. But I didn't I receive, did receive, receive any email, email, email from, your, from store. your store. Store. Okay. Then what do you think is happening here? They are talking about an email, right? They are talking about an email. Um, and if you see, we use it might be there. Okay. It might be there. It is. Uh, we don't use it has to be there because we don't know, right? So it's a probability that that um, email went to the spam folder. So it might be there. Did you check the spam folder? Now, let's see Carlos and Leslie, please. Okay. Did you check the spam folder? It might be there. Yes, I checked my spam, but I did receive an email from your store. Okay, remember receive, receive. Say receive, everyone. Receive. 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 Mm -hmm. receive. It's not receive, it is receive. Okay. Receive. Receive. Okay, now Walter and Sylvia, please. Hey teacher, uh, uh, did you check the spam folder? It needn't be there. Yes, I checked my spam, but I, but I didn't receive any email from your store. Okay, excellent. Now let's see, Carla and Rosa, please. Did you check a spam folder? It may be there. Rosa, we can't hear you. Okay. There you go. <laughs> yes, I checked my spam, but I didn't receive any email from your store. Excellent, excellent. Let's imagine store could be company, could be uh, business, okay? You can replace this store with the company name too, right? So let's read the other, the next conversation. What are they talking about? They are talking about a package. They are talking about a package. Did you use the return label? Did you use the return label? Yes, I did, but it seems I used an incorrect one. Could you please check in your system? 
I'd be happy to check for you, ma'am. Did you keep a copy of your receipt? Yes, I did. Can you give me the shipping tracking number on it? Okay. Did you see the return label? Yes, I did. But it seems I used an incorrect one. Could you please check in your system? I'd be happy to check for you, ma'am. Did you keep a copy of your receipt? Yes, I did. Can you give me the shipping tracking number on it? Okay. Do you have any question about the vocabulary in this, in this uh, conversation? No question? Yeah, yes, Tom? Label. 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 Okay. label is the sticker okay return label uh, return label is the label that you stick on the package to uh return the product to the to the factory or to the warehouse where it came from okay so okay. you use a return label shipping label okay shipping sure. label mm -hmm. sure uh, what mean ma'am Ma'am, mm -hmm. ah, yeah. this, this is to say, okay, this is a word to say uh, like miss or missus. We don't know if it is a miss or if it is a missus, but with all respect, ma'am is a good word to call a woman, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, great. It comes from madame, right? Something like that, but we say ma'am, ma'am. Uh, teacher, mm -hmm. I have a question. Yes, tell me. Um, the, the label in my company, in the UC label, is a, a departure. Okay. Uh, and, 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 and for example, do you use the other label? Uh, a label and the user of carpeta. No, folder. Folder, ah, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. And, 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 and for example, different, and the use in label, and the, and the significa, and, and, and for example, uh, come on, folder. No, in this case, return label is the shipping label. Do you remember a, a shipping label? with the information where the package uh -huh. is going to, with the address, okay? Or, and okay. the address where the package is going to, okay? Going and coming from. All the information about the package, okay? To be shipped. Uh -huh. it, it, okay, okay. Uh, okay, it's yeah. not from a folder. It's, okay, you can use a label to identify a folder because a label is a sticker, okay? It's a sticker where you write names or you identify what is in the folder. Yes, you can use label too, okay? You can label a folder, you can label a book, you can label anything, okay? You can label also um, the shampoos or maybe you can label the containers to your fridge, yeah, because you name on them, it's a label, yeah. But return label is a shipping label, okay? Okay. Okay, Thank there you. we go. Any other question? Are we okay? Okay, let's repeat then. Activate your audio and let's repeat. Did you use the return label? Did you use the return label? The return label? The return label? Did you use the return label? Did you use the return label? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. But it seems I used an incorrect one. Could you please check in your system? Could you please check in your system? I'd be happy to check for you, ma'am. 
Did you keep a copy of your receipt? I'd be happy to check it for you, you my man. Did you, you Did keep you a copy of your receipt? Yes, yeah. I did. Yes, yes I, I, did. Did. I, did. I did. Can you give me the shipping tracking number on it? Can you give, you give, give me the shipping tracking number on it? Number, number, number. Oh. Okay. Okay, now let's see. Elvia and Wilfredo, please. Elvia A and Wilfredo B. Okay, did you? Did, did you? Use the return label? Yes, I did. But it seems I use in a correct one. Could you please check in your system? I would be happy to check for you, ma'am. Did you keep a copy of your receipt? Yes, I did. Can you give me the shipping tracking number on it? Excellent. So in this case, we were talking to Wilfredo. So instead of saying ma'am, we can say sir, okay? Uh, I'd be happy to check for you, sir, okay? Instead of ma'am, because he's not a woman, right? So I'd be happy to check for you, sir, okay? Sir. Get it, everyone? Okay, it. sir. Instead of ma'am, okay. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Mm -hmm. When I talk another person, yes, sir. It is like to use when we're talking a uh, women. Yes, you can use it too. You can use it too uh, because it's like a figure. It's not. Um, the real meaning, okay, is not the real meaning that you were referring to the person. Maybe you are referring that uh, you are affirming something. Oh, yes, sir, right? And it doesn't matter if you were saying that to a woman. In Well, you could do it. You could do it, okay. uh, depending on the case. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, you are not going to say, yes, ma'am. It's not like... So with the meaning, but yes, you can say also, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, you can say that too. Okay. Okay. You. You're welcome, a pleasure. So let's continue with this because we are going to the next part and we are going to our manuals, okay? Let's go to our manuals. Mm -hmm. Let me go there. Okay, this is the last activity. Now here. Oh, sorry. Again, party four. It was here. Okay. We are still talking about problems. We are still talking about issues. How to express issues. Okay. And in this case, we are using the past tense because you have to tell a story to tell the story, what happened, okay? You have to describe your problem when, uh, or, or your experience with the service or with a product, okay? So now let's see, over here, we have, what do you see, it? what do you see here? What is it? What is this? It is an email. Oh yes, it's an email, right? It's an email. So let's hear, let's hear, let's hear what the customer said, okay? Uh, let's try to hear. Last week, I had the chance to travel with your company to another country. But to be honest with you, it was a bad experience because the bus that you assigned me in didn't have AC. It was a long trip and the bus was very slow. I am considering not traveling with you again because of the inconvenience I had. Okay. 
What do you think? Do you want to hear that again? Yes? Okay. Yes. Teacher, yes. Okay. Last week, I had the chance to travel with your company to another country. But to be honest with you, it was a bad experience because the bus that you assigned me in didn't have AC. It was a long trip and the bus was very slow. I am considering not traveling with you again because of the inconvenience I had. Okay, now, what do you think it was the problem? It's what do you low, think? And it hasn't have AC. Okay, it didn't have. And didn't have. It didn't have uh, air conditioner. Air conditioner, air yes. Conditioner. AC is air conditioner, yes. Okay, then this customer is sending this email to. Can you read this, please? This uh, email address for me. Can you read this email address for me, please? Peter. Peter, email. Okay. Peter T, right? Peter T yeah. at, okay, remember, at, at jmail.com, correct? <laughs> Let's read it again. Peter T at jmail.com. Peter T, jmail. Teacher, how do you uh -huh. pronounce it? When, when you're talking about email, Punto com. Uh, dot com. Dot com. Dot com. Yes. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> yes, <okay. I> <laughs> there you go. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> okay, great. So you see, we are going to say like this Peter. Ah, we're going to try to write it down as if we are speaking. Okay, let's try. Peter. T, okay, Peter T at, because that's this um, symbol here, the special C sign here, it's at, and then we say J, J mail dot com, okay, like Peter T at yaymail dot com. Okay, we don't have to do that. Okay. We don't have to do that. But uh, let's try just to figure figure this pronunciation out. Okay. Now let's say it. Let's say it. I'm going to erase this because it's not a good practice, but it helps helps us. At this moment, okay. So it, this email is going to Peter T at jmail.com. What is the subject or what is this email about? What's this email about? It's complaining oh, about a trip. Complaint about a trip. Okay, it's a complaint, right? complain about a trip. Imagine you are the customer service agent and you receive complaint about a trip. What do you think about? Oh God, no way. This is not possible, okay? Because it's a problem that we have to solve. We don't want to lose this customer, right? So let's see, who is sending the email? Who is the sender? Okay, good. Hazer dot R at Jmail dot com. Okay. So what is the problem? What is the problem? Is it only one problem? 
Was it only one or do you think uh, it happened a lot of things? It's a, it's a lot of things because the okay. bus don't, didn't have AC and the, the travel is very long. Okay. Um, and I, I think it's a very hot the, uh, 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 the, the bus also is slow. Okay. It's very slow. Okay. So we are talking about some problems, but making a summary, the customer had a bad experience. Okay. The customer had a bad experience with a lot of troubles, with a lot of issues. Okay. Now let's, let's make the list. Okay, let's make the list of the problems here. First, first, what happened? The bus didn't uh -huh. have AC. Okay, second. Mm -hmm. It was a long trip. Okay. And third? The bus was very slow. The bus was very slow. Okay. Okay. Now, what is the result of this? What is the result? But to be honest with you, but to be honest with you, uh -huh. um, uh, uh, about experience. Okay, the customer had a and it says really had experience, bad experience, right? Uh, had a bad experience, I'm sorry. Bad experience. Okay. Mm -hmm. The customer had a bad experience. And what's his conclusion? But in this case, it was the, a the woman, customer, right? Mm -hmm. yes, it was a customer, woman. The customer, there is a woman. Yes, remember the okay. list, the, the audio. Mm -hmm. Okay, she, she was considered not traveling with the, with the company again. Okay, okay. And do you think this, uh, was this good for, for this company? Was this good for this company? It's true. Uh -huh. it valid. Okay. It's true. Tell me, Francisco. Uh, I have a question. Okay. In the, in the third problem, problem mm -hmm. we can use the, the bus mm -hmm. when, when very slow. Yes, you can use when too. Yes, okay. of course. Okay. Maybe okay. Once it implies that the the driver wanted to drive fast, right? But uh, maybe saying went, then it means that the driver didn't want going fast, right? So yes, you can use that too, like this. The bus. The I'm sorry. The bus went went very slow. Yes, you can say that. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So now let's see, now that we understand the problem, now what, that we know what happened, then we are going to uh, answer some questions in the next activity, okay? Let me go there because that's in the manual. Here it is. Now let's see. 
Where did the passenger go? Where did the passenger go? I'm going to read number two. Why did the passenger consider it a bad experience? What did the passenger send that mail? What did the passenger send that mail? Okay, now, let's read again. Okay, or let's go and listen to the reading again, again, okay? Last week, I had the chance to travel with your company to another country. But to be honest with you, it was a bad experience because the bus that you assigned me in didn't have AC. It was a long trip and the bus was very slow. I am considering not traveling with you again because of the inconvenience I had. Okay, now let's go to our manuals and let's think. Let's think. Where did the passenger go? Can you read the first question, please, Walter Mauricio? Um, another country. Okay, In that's the, that's the answer. So now, can you read the question and say the answer, please? Uh, where did the uh, passenger go? Uh huh. And, and the answer? They. Um, uh huh. What is the answer, Walter Mauricio? Again. Answer. And uh, the answer and the. Country and another country. Okay, then went because we are going to use go, right? Here it says go. Oh, so okay. the verb that we are using and the answer is in the past tense. Went to another country. Okay. Another country. Okay. There you go. Next. Who wants to read the question and give me the answer, please? Who wants to? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Francisco. Yeah. Why did the passenger consider it a bad experience? Example. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, the, <clears throat> the bus uh, didn't have uh, AC okay. air condition. And, and the bus uh, went very slow. And the, it, it, it was a long trip. Oh, great. Excellent answer. Just remember that when someone asks why, we usually answer because. We usually answer because, okay? Because, correct? Why did the passenger consider it a bad experience? Ah, uh, because, because the bus, and then you say everything, right? Didn't have a C. The, uh, it was a long trip. And, what was the other? And? And the bus went very slow. Okay, thank you. Went very slow. Okay, there we are. Thank you very much, Francisco. So now we have the answer there. Who wants to read number three? Who wants to read number
Okay, Fausto, please. Read number three and please uh, give us an answer for that question. Uh, what did the passenger send that email? Mm -hmm. In the last week? Mm, we're not asking for time. We're not asking for um, place. We are asking for a reason, okay? What did the passenger send that email? What? Mm -hmm. What is the reason? Teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe he has a bad experience. Okay, now let's think about the past tense of that verb. He has had, had okay, mm -hmm. had a bad experience. Okay, so he wants to complain, okay? He wants to complain. Okay. We can also use the past tense here, okay? He wanted, wanted to complain, okay? Is it okay, everyone here? Uh, according with the text, is she? Yes, you're right. Thank you very much, Carlos. Oh, I think you yes, only right. you only you are paying attention to that. Thank you very much, Carlos. <laughs> yes, thank you. She, she. You're right. Oh my God, what a big mistake we did. <laughs> okay. There you go. Now here it is. Now let's let's ask and answer these questions. Walter, ask the question and Leslie, please answer the number one. So Walter, ask the question and Leslie, please uh, answer the question. Uh, well, did the passenger The passenger went to another country. Okay, excellent. Number two, Carla and Silvia. We did the passengers consider it a bad experience? Because the bus didn't have AC. It was a long trip and the bus went very slow. Thank you very much. Remember the pronunciation for why is why. Why? Don't, don't be afraid to open your mouth, okay, and say why, okay? Why? 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 Yeah. why. <laughs> Next one, please. Uh, let's see. We have there. Just let me see because I can see all of you. Okay, Rosa and Elvia. We can't hear you, Rosa. Okay. What did the passenger send that mail? She had experience. She wants she want to complain. Okay. She wanted. She wanted, wanted to, to complain. complain. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Now let's hear the last time the reading. Okay. Ah, it's because I'm not doing this. Okay. Last week, I had the chance to travel with your company to another country. But to be honest with you, it was a bad experience because the bus that you assigned me in didn't have AC. 
It was a long trip and the bus was very slow. I am considering not traveling with you again because of the inconvenience I had. Okay, great. So now let's go about, back to our menus. Let's go back to our menus. And let's see, this is very important. This is very important. At the moment, we know how to confirm information using question that requests a yes or a no answer. But now we need uh, some more information or explanations, right? So what do we have to use? Uh, then we have to use the WH words, WH words. Do you remember the WH words? What? Yes, what? Mm -hmm. what? Where? Where? When? When? Why? Uh, hi. How? Uh -huh. How? Why? Excellent. So we need we need to use. Uh, okay, when we start a conversation, a conversation is always always requiring questions and answers. Questions and answers. That's a conversation. That's a conversation. Questions and answers. So let's. Let's master these about the questions in the past tense. Let's try, okay? What is the structure of these questions? Let's see. What, and then we use did, okay? Yeah. What did you buy? What did you buy? We are asking for a thing, okay? We are asking for a product, right? Now, let's see next one. Where did he fly to? Where did he fly to? What are we asking here? What, what, what are we asking for? What information do we need here? Where did he fly to? Where? What information do we need? A place. A place, correct. Now, when did we pay for the service? When did we pay for the service? What are we asking here? When? For? Time or a time frame, okay? Time, exact time or time frame, right? Now, next one, it says, how did they find out that promotion? How did they find out that promo of that pr promotion? What are we asking for? When Maybe we use a possibility, how, teacher. A possibility um, I don't think so. I think it is a manner, a way, a way, okay? A manner, a way of something, of doing something or getting something or something like that. So how will be a manner, um, a way, okay, a form. Now, let's see. If we ask this question, we need an answer like this, okay? This is an example of a good answer. Okay, what did you buy? Let's see the answer. I bought a vacation package. I bought a vacation package. So it means here it says short answers. If you see in the box, it says short answers. But here is information that you are giving. Why it is short? Because we need a sentence the most simple sentence, okay? The most simple sentence. So in this case, it says, what did you buy? I bought a vacation package, okay? Now, can you please activate your audio and repeat after me, please? What did you buy? 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 I bought a vacation package. 
I I go go to to the now, next one. Where did he fly to? Where did he fly to? Where did he fly to? He flew to another country. He flew to another country. When did we pay for the service? When did we pay for the service? When did we pay for the service? When, when, when did, did we, we pay for the service? We paid for this service last month. We paid for the service last month. Last month. Okay, now next one. How did they find out of that promotion? How did they find out of that promotion? How did they find out of that promotion? How did they, they, they find out about the promotion? They found out about it. Uh, I'm sorry. They found. I'm sorry. They found out about it on the internet. They, they found out about, 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 about it on the internet. They found out about it on the internet. They found out about it on the internet. Okay. Great. So if you see, we use as we did before and the questions, did you? And then we use the infinitive of the verb in these questions. Do you see? By, next verb, lie. What is the next one? Pay. 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 This verb is complete, find out, find uh, out, find out. Find out. Find out. Find out. Okay, but in the answer, in the answer, we use the past tense, the simple past tense form of the verb. So we, for example, to answer about buying something, then we use bought. Now, fly, the past simple tense is blue. Next one, paid, the simple past tense is paid and find out the past simple tense form is found out found out correct okay now it is your turn guys now it is your turn you are going to complete okay you are going to complete these um this is not the correct instruction, okay? This is not the correct instruction. What are you going to do? You are going to complete these questions and give an answer, okay? Complete these questions and give an answer. Get it? Do you get it? Or do you have questions of what you are going to do? Yes, teacher. Everything okay? Okay, we're going to break out in rooms. There you are, people. Walter, are you there? Did you receive the invitation? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Yeah, what did you buy? What did you what did you buy in our online page? In the página en línea. What did you buy? Could be. Mm -hmm. What did you buy in on online page? In our online, online page. page. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What did you buy in our online page? Okay. Right, now so. the answer. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have to use the verb buy in past. So the answer have to, has to be I bought I bought, I bought uh -huh. mm. I bought mm. a pair of shoes. Do it. I pair of shoes. Of shoes. Pair of shoes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Teacher, it, it have to be it has to be only a short question, right? Yes. Like the example. Yes, like the example. Yes. But in your own words mm -hmm. or in your own experiences. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay, you are doing a great job. So I'm going to, do you have any question about the activity? No? No, no. Okay. It's fine. Okay, then I'm going to another group. See you. Mm -hmm. Bye. Okay, bye. Okay. Bye. Yeah. Why did you? Uh, how? How? in the morning no sé si si será al respecto lo que lo que piden acá no sé si no entiendo muy bien mm -hmm. yes there are questions yes. about yes there are questions about yourself it's uh, to, uh it's the opportunity for you to use your own ideas okay your own ideas Okay. Mm. For example, teacher, uh, uh -huh. and, and number one, uh -huh. question. Uh, what did you? What did you, for example, I can use it, it in the morning? What did you eat? What yes, this is a good question. What will be the answer? Uh, I eat uh, past tense. I pasta. ate. Ate. Okay, I ate uh, bean. beans. Beans. Uh huh. Good. Um, okay, start eggs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Okay. Okay, you can say in different ways, but the common way that I have found it is star eggs, like star, star. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Okay. okay, teacher, thank you. Okay. Okay. Auto. Okay, Elvia. Number one. What did you? Uh, yes, in, uh, for example, what did you eat? What did you did in the morning? Okay. What did you do? What did you do? What did you do? What did you do? Uh -huh. okay. In the morning. Yes. Mm -hmm. But number two, number two, let's think about number two. Where, right? Where? Let me check. Number two, how did you? Oh, how did you? How, how did you? How did you? How did you? What do you uh, think? I think, uh, how did you prepare uh, reports? 
there reports. Uh, okay. Um, How or, did you prepare the uh, reports? Yeah, it's correct. It's correct. Yes, it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. How did you write? How did you write the report? You write the report. Mm -hmm. Remember, in the question, mm -hmm. we use the infinitive form of the verb. In the answer, we use the past simple tense. Okay? Okay. Okay. What will be the answer for that question? How did you write the report? Oh. An answer. I, in the past tense of write, I look for the, for the past tense of write. Right. Uh-huh. Past tense. Wrote. Wrote. Excellent, Elvia. So I wrote the report and this and this and this way, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. I wrote the report in a hurry, for example, very fast, <laughs> right? Or something like that, because we are looking for a manner or for, for a way of doing something, okay? Okay. Do you have a question of the activity? No, teacher. No? No, oh, teacher. Okay, then I'm going to leave the room. I'm going to another group, okay? Okay. See you. Okay. See you. It's, it's not a purse. Hello, I teacher. <laughs> Hello. Teacher no poncho. Why? Teacher no poncho. Why did Why I? Why no aparece? Ah? Why no aparece? <laughs> Why? No, no poncho porque guay no aparece. <laughs> oh, out there. Well, well, oh, well, yes, well. you're right. You're right. But do you remember that in the last one, in the last page, uh, it is 30, this is 34, right? So in 33, uh, no, in 34, go, go back to the last page. 34. <clears throat> mm -hmm. 34. Uh -huh. Scroll up. Scroll. Here, you see? Here, here. Let me, let me show you. No, 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 no. Scroll down. Scroll down. Scroll down mm. a little more after the email. After the email, you after are going the to email. find. Yes. After, after the email, email. Uh -huh. oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, here is the email. So go after Why? there, and you have one there, right? Why so did the passenger the consider? Mm -hmm. For consider, qué? consider, okay. Consider. Yes. Why did the passenger consider it a bad spirit? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, maybe. What did you buy? Uh, you are in where? Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. okay. Vamos a dejar aquí el uh -huh. eh, What did you buy? The. Um, podría ser. Most expensive product? Oh, good. Good. Good question. What do you think, Leslie? Expensive yeah, product. Está bien. Okay, it's good. It's okay. It's, it's good. It's good. <clears throat> the answer answer uh -huh. maybe because. Let's see it because no. With a little no. a, but it is okay. Uh huh. Because there you go. Mm -hmm. Because um, teacher, in este caso, no responderíamos con el mismo verbo, ¿verdad? Uh, why not? 
uh, may be the answer because the product is the very high quality. Okay, then yes, you change it. It's good. Mm -hmm. Yes, you don't answer repeating the the verb in the question. Yes, it is okay because the mm -hmm. product. Is very high quality. Very high. okay. I no no no. Get it. Ah, che ah, high quality. There you go. Excellent. Quality. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Let's see. Um. Mm, an example for the number four. Mm, permítame, vamos. Where did you mm -hmm. Uh, where did you reservation? Where yes. did you reservation? Make. Where uh, did make. you make? Where did you make reservation? Make make uh, the reservation or only reservation? If you want to say a reservation or the reservation, it means okay. that a reservation is uh, any reservation. The any. reservation mm -hmm. is in a specific it's, it reservation, have, right? It's more specific. Mm -hmm. Where did you make the reservation? Yeah. That is good too. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe an answer. Make is a regular verb. Uh, no, no, it changes. No, no, no. Look it up, look make, it up in the list. Look it up uh, in the list. Do so you have the list thing. handy? I send uh, it through the, session. okay. In the, in the chat. Yes, I sent it in the chat. Mm -hmm. A teacher, uh, yes, tell me. Yes, uh, is made. Made, yes, yes, yes. correct. Yes, okay. made. Mm, I made um, in the online. Uh -huh, I, I made. made. Ah, I okay. Made online. So you online refer. Reservation. Okay, you refer the way to um, to do the process of the reservation. I was thinking about the place where you made the reservation. I mean, where you are going to celebrate something, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was in, in another page, but it is okay. It is good. I made okay. it. I made it or I made the reservation. I made the reservation. I online. made it. Uh, made it online or reservation. No, 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 it is okay. No. Okay, look, I made it online or mm -hmm. I made the reservation online. Online, okay, only at made it online. Yes, that's okay. a good answer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I made it online. Okay, okay. Number, number five. Mm -hmm. Who did you? When we talk about who or we ask who, we refer to a person, right? Uh -huh. King. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Mm. Who, who did you? Uh -huh. Leslie. Maybe. Okay. Um. Who did? Who did? Yeah. 
Any idea, Francisco? <laughs> yes, teacher. Um, who did you move the, how do you say, archivero? Uh, um, oh, oh, the files? Oh, uh, file. I don't oh. remember at the moment. I know okay. it, but I, I have it here. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Teacher, uh, maybe use a, uh, how did you move the desk? Uh -huh. How did you move the, the desk? desk? Okay, okay. Yes, yeah, because uh -huh. at the moment I could say yes, no, the yes. drawer, okay, or the filer, something like that. Filer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, did you move? The uh, drawer. Okay. Uh -huh. apareció eso? Can you move? Apareció eso? <laughs> it's offering you, it's offering, maybe you wrote that before. So it's, um, they are some ideas of something that you already re uh, wrote. Okay, before, uh -huh. maybe you wrote that before and it shows you that. But in this case, just let me tell you, who did you move? Um, that's the idea. Like in Spanish, a quien trasladaste? You were, okay, mm -hmm. the person, mm -hmm. right? So who did you? Yes, it should. We you cannot use move mm -hmm. because we are mm -hmm. talking about a person and you don't move a person unless mm -hmm. a, you touch their hearts and that's moving, okay? But mm -hmm. <laughs> not, it's not the case, okay? Okay, okay. So eh, I, eh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eh, Si quisiéramos utilizar eso, solo sería who did, who did move? Mm. Who did you, no. for example, for example, you, um, you make a call, okay? You make a call and your colleague says, hey, who did you talk to, okay? Who did you talk to, to say that or to ask for that favor in that department, for example, in the other department? So mm -hmm. who did you talk to? It's a very good one, okay? Who did you okay. talk to about the trip, for example? Who did you talk to, or another another verb? Who did you uh, wait? Who did you wait, okay? Wait. Who did you ask for the bill, okay? Who did you ask for the bill? If you are talking about a waiter, right? Or a waitress, right? Sure. Who did you ask for the bill? Uh -huh. eh, o sea que digamos esto es como eh, por ejemplo quién te preguntó vamos a probar digamos, pero quién te algo así es la, la traducción no, en, no a quién a quién le a quién le a quién le who did okay. you a quién le okay. en tiempo pasado okay in past tense who did you uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Voy a anotar eso por aquí. Ok. Maybe, how did you help send the email? Oh, that's another one too. Yes. Who did who you did, help? How did you help? How did you help send the email? To send, to send. After help, we use to. Help to send. Uh -huh. help to send. send. The email. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, guys, I'm going to another room. You are doing a great job. So now think about an answer for that question. Okay. And see you.
How was the activity, guys? It was good. Good. Was it easy? Mm, so. Kind no. of. Kind of. Um, kind of. Okay, kind of easy. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you have a question about this uh, content? How to ask questions, asking for information using the past tense? Do you yeah. have any question? Tell me. The, the activity we, we made, we made um, about travel. We talk about travel. Okay. Make some questions and asking for information. Okay, then this is just taking an example that you were traveling or something. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. But did you have any trouble doing the activity? Do you have any any question about the content? No, teacher. Okay. Okay. Just let me get something for you because I was in. I lost this link. I had it handy and I said, for not losing it, I'm going to paste it in this slide and I don't find it now. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. But let's see. Let's see. We're going to continue with the other part of the class. Uh, just let me take the attendance, please. Okay. okay, let's see. Angeli Magali Coronado Diaz. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Present teacher. Okay, Carlos Ernesto Rogel. Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. Eleani Alejandra Nativi Rivera. Elvia Yanet Beltrán de Cabrera. Franz, Fausto Antonio Landaverde López. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Carla María Los Guevara Callejas. Present teacher. Leslie Fernández Ochoa. Present teacher. María Fernanda Gavidia Guerrero. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Rosa Esperanza Vázquez de Girón. Sandra Beatriz. Thank you, Rosa. Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present, dice. Okay. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present, teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present, teacher. William Isaac Montoya Ávila. Okay. Chicos, ya estamos casi que en la recta final para finalizar el curso, vea. <laughs> sí. Uh, the the uh -huh. going to be finished uh, next week. Uh -huh. Yes, we are finishing on the 11th, May the 11th. Okay. May the 11th. Huh? That's the final video conference you have i think I, I don't remember on the platform if you have five more days to complete the activities pero mi mejor sugerencia es que tienen que irlo haciendo continuamente después de cada clase porque después se les acumula y proba y, y corren el riesgo verdad de que esa no entre verdad no entre su su eh, su calificación. Uh, por ahí les enviaron un mensaje muy importante que de aquí en adelante nadie puede faltar. Porque si faltan, acuérdense que hay un porcentaje de asistencia que tenemos que cumplir. Entonces, y la nota final viene dada por las tareas, los exámenes y la asistencia. Entonces, si no hacemos tareas, no hay nota menos, ¿verdad? La nota. Acuérdense que tenemos que aprobar, si es posible, con 100, ¿verdad? Entonces, um, si no hace la tarea, baja. Si no puede conectarse o eso, o 
o deliberadamente no se conecta, pierde puntos, ¿verdad? Entonces, a mí me va a dar tristeza que muy buenos estudiantes eh, se queden por inasistencia o por no hacer las tareas de la plataforma, ¿verdad? Porque la verdad que este es un gran esfuerzo que hacemos todos. Entonces, yo los quiero animar a que tomen en serio ese mensaje que les enviaron de administración, por favor, porque no podemos quedarnos atrás. Ahorita de eso depende. El cupo está ahí reservado, ¿verdad? Para el próximo módulo. Pero su aprobación depende de sus tareas, su asistencia y su presentación de exámenes. ¿Ok? Así que dado el anuncio, vamos a continuar. ¿Ok? Dado el anuncio, vamos a continuar. Okay. Si alguien tiene algún problema con la plataforma. Ah, por cierto, están verificándome el, el formulario que dijo ayer María Fernanda de la tarea 15. Así que están verificando qué es lo que sucede y lo están re, re, rebuilding, ¿verdad? Entonces, um, lo están recomponiendo esa parte. Entonces... Ahorita pueden hacer todas las demás. La 15 todavía no hemos llegado. Esta es la 14, ¿no? Esta es la 14. Entonces, eh, por favor, chicos, pongamos todo nuestro interés. Yo los felicito a todos los que no han faltado. Los felicito. Eh, me alegra mucho el interés y todo. Sé que muchos no es por falta de interés, sino que a veces el internet o alguna cosa. Pero estamos en este programa en que tenemos un, un, algo que cumplir, ¿verdad? Eh, sure. requerimientos. Dígame, Francisco. Uh, did you instruct the next level? No, I, I don't know. I don't know because sometimes they uh, they do a sort here and maybe I can be moved to another. Okay. I, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Okay, it, it is a surprise. It is a surprise. Okay, there you go. Uh, there is a song. Okay, there is a song. And um, I will send it through the group tonight after the class. I will send it. And also as I did with the last one, you can hear it and you are going to practice how to ask questions, information questions, and how to answer those, those questions, okay? That's the activity that I'm going to send you, okay? And we are going to start with that activity tomorrow. At the moment, we are going to continue in the, in the um, manual, okay? Let's go to our manuals. Okay, there we go. Please, Carlos Antonio and Walter. Carlos Antonio, ask your question number one and Walter Antonio, pay attention to that question and answer the question from Carlos, okay? There you go. Okay, what did you do on the last weekend? Okay. What do you do, Walter? Uh, what do you do this weekend? Last weekend. Did you do something special? Did okay. you do anything um, special? Um, In my case, uh, last in the shopping supermarket. Okay, oh, no, I no. went. Oh, no, 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 no. I I went uh, the shopping market. Okay. I went playing soccer. Oh, good. Okay. Well, I soccer. Yeah, I I I went green beer. Okay, then let's see. Thank you very much, Carlos, and thank you very much, Walter. Now, please, Rosa and Fausto. 
Rosa ask your question number two and Fausto pay attention and answer Rosa's question, okay? We can hear you, Rosa. Please activate your audio. Sorry. <laughs> no problem. How did you become start your company? Again, please. How I'm did sorry, you but... become your company? How did you become company? How did you become your how did you become to come side your company? Um, I can get, I can follow you, Rosa. So let's try to write it down. How did you, uh huh, become, become uh huh, how did you become, uh -huh, become. You no, you say you say become. How did you like this? How do you say become your company? Your company. How do you? How did you? How did you? Uh huh. Uh -huh. Oh, decide. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh, to, to to come to come, come you to, come your or, or company okay your, your company. oh to come our company okay to come our company is this okay yes thank you very much rosa and thank you very much sylvia let's see how did you decide to come to our company. Okay, Fausto, how did you decide? Um, I decided. I, I decided. I decided. Uh -huh. um, I decided to come. Oh. I decided to come. Mm. Oh, no, it's to go. To go? Do you want to say to go? I decided uh, to come. Oh. Uh huh. Yes, it is okay. I decided to come. Uh, our company, your company. Um, boss. Uh huh. Uh. Oh. Okay, my idea. I, I want to I, I want to share my idea with you, Fausto. For example, I decided to come because of the prizes, right? I decided I, to come because of the prizes. Uh, I decided example. to come because you have the best quality in town, right? So some things like that. I think, I don't know. What do you think? Uh, um, I think uh, because they are great. Because you, your company is? Is great. Great, okay. Great in service, <laughs> let's yes. say. Okay, That's nice. True. Yes, true. we did it. Yes, tell me. <laughs> <laughs> este, maybe... Uh, I decided to 
to come because your company sells uh -huh. the best product. Okay. Sales, the best product. Excellent. I decided to come because your you have the best product. There you go. Products. Is it okay? Okay. I think it is good. Correct. So now let's see. Francisco, please ask number three. And let's see who is going to answer. Uh, Wilfred is going to answer, okay? Number three. Uh, uh -huh. Why did you buy the most expensive product? Why did you buy the most expensive product? Okay, Wilfredo, it's your turn to answer. I bought it because I need in my house to use it. Okay. <laughs> because I needed it. I needed it. it. Okay, I need it. Remember past tense to answer. Okay. Yes, yes, I'm sorry. Good. I, I got it. Uh huh. So that's your answer. Are, uh, are you satisfied with the answer, Francisco? Uh, re uh, do you repeat me, please? <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, I, I bought it. I bought it because I needed using my house. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, good. So number four. For example, number four. For example, what? Okay. We 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 uh, sell TV to watch the match on, on weekend. It is necessary, teacher. It's so expensive, but it is necessary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, it's a very big necessity of us. Yes. <laughs> Television on SP. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. So now let's see. Let's see. Elvia, please ask your question number four. And Carla is going to answer. Where did you go your vacation? I went to the beach. Excellent. Very good, girls. Number five, Leslie asked the question and let's see who wants to answer. Okay. Who did you help to send the email? Okay, Carlos what? wants to answer. Sorry, can you please repeat the question? Who did you help to send the email? I I sent it I, I sent it to my boss. Okay, the question was like this, Carlos. Okay, the question was like this. Let me write it down here. Let me type it. Uh, who did you help uh -huh, to okay. send the email? Okay. okay. Now, what do you think it's going to be the answer? Uh, okay. I went to the IT unit and they helped me. Um, okay, uh, but the idea here is that you helped someone, okay? Okay. That you helped okay. someone to do something. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, maybe some... Um, I... I, I, I help to my call for worker. Okay. Co worker, yeah. I helped my co worker. 
yes, because because uh, because he he has a problem with your. Okay, let's say he, let's say in past tense because he 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 had had a problem. Uh huh. With her account with his okay his account. Excellent. There you go. Do you see? Yes. This is the way, okay, this is the way to ask for information and give information using the past tense. Remember that we are continuously using the past tense because everybody wants to know what happened when you went to do something. Every, everybody, this is our nature. This is our nature. Conversations past tense. Okay, so let's continue here. And let me, uh, we have only five minutes, one moment. I don't find this thing, here it is. Okay, I need this and let me Continue with this. I think. One moment. Okay, I'm going to share the first picture I shared today, okay, at the beginning of the class. And this is for you to answer, okay? This is for you to answer. You see? Let me do it better because I learned another way, a better one to do it. I think it's better. Okay, and let's answer this question. What did you do last weekend? What did you do last weekend? Let's answer according to each picture, okay? According to each, each picture, we are going to create a sentence, okay? Uh, okay, mm -hmm. teacher, can mm -hmm. I ask the uh, answer the first picture? Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I, I yes. Stated, stated in a home. Okay, in a home. as stayed. stayed at, at, in a home, at home. And okay. Take a coffee and read a book. <laughs> <laughs> drink some <laughs> coffee or drink a cup of coffee. Well, it's the weekend, <laughs> so some coffee. Uh huh. And Remember, remember yes. past tense. I stayed yes. at home. What is the past tense for drink? Drunk. 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 Remember, yeah, drank because drunk is different. Okay. Yeah. Drunk is different. <laughs> yeah. So I... maybe drunk. <laughs> okay. Maybe. Oh, okay. With coffee. <laughs> With coffee, okay. <laughs> okay, drank some coffee and mm -hmm, read a book. Okay, so yes, this is a very good answer. What did you do last weekend? I stayed at home, I drank some coffee, and I read a book. Okay, now, can you please? answer or create another sentence but using this picture according to this picture what did you do last weekend me teacher okay tell me i went a trip with I... my friend i went a trip on a trip okay on a trip uh-huh and i what did the pass of ride? Road. 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 
Uh-huh. I and went on we, a trip. Yeah. And we rode on bicycle. We rode bicycles. I don't remember if it is like this. The cycles, uh-huh, bicycles. Or bikes, right? Or, yeah. or bikes. Yeah. We rode bicycles with our families. Yeah. Oh, the complete family or different families? With my family. Okay, with? My children and my wife. My, okay, my family. So, okay, there you go. It's a very good answer. Now, and this one, what do you think? Let's create a, a sentence for this picture. It's an office, right? What did you do last weekend? Teacher, uh, uh -huh. maybe <clears throat> uh, I went to the office and I, I, I wrote the various report or I wrote many reports. Okay, excellent. It's very and, good. And so, uh, what uh, is the pass of person? Sent. Uh, sent. Uh -huh. Yeah, with sent. a letter T at the end. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and I sent uh, emails to all clients. Okay. There you go. There you have it. Excellent. Next one. Let's see. What did you do last weekend? with this picture. What do you think? Uh-huh. What did you do last weekend? Seeing this picture, National Theater. An answer? I, I went, I went the National Theater. Okay. I went to the National uh, Theater. Maybe uh, I listed. I what? Uh, was what the Pass over, listen. Listen. Listened. Listen. Mm -hmm. I, I listen. Um, um, one opera. Okay, an opera. Okay. So it is, I listen to because that's the complete verb, okay? I listened to an opera, okay? Or I went to see a play, right? I went to see a play, una obra, a play, right? There you go. Now, what do you think about the beach? What did you do last weekend? Create a sentence to answer. I, I went mm -hmm. on, on, on the beach. To the beach, okay. To the beach. There you go. Excellent. There you go. You see? Now you know how to ask questions, requesting for some information, and also now you know how to answer, okay? Now you know how to answer using the past tense. Remember, past simple tense, and the answer, and 
on the questions, you are going to use did and the infinitive form of the verb, okay? Okay, guys, uh, we have three minutes past 10. So today the, uh, just one second, let me see something. Today is the turn for, it was for Maria Fernanda, uh, yesterday. Yesterday it was for Maria, uh, um, yes, yesterday. So now let me go back because I forgot whose turn is today. Let's see where it was. Rita, Rita is not here today, guys. So who wants to use this space? Today was the turn for Rita. Anybody of you wants to stay with me for assessment? Do you have any questions that, uh, that you want me to help you with? It's Friday, teacher. You see, it's Friday. <laughs> uh huh. Got you. <laughs> okay, but it's a very good opportunity. Class is dismissed, guys. So if you want to stay, tell me. One. <laughs> assessment to two. No assessment today? Mm. And assessment to three and out. No, okay. If you want, next you can tell week, me. Teacher. Next next I week. Have, I I be so tired. <laughs> it's Friday, teacher. Oh, we want to go to bed now. <laughs> We're tired. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, um, I just wanted to tell you that I got vaccinated yesterday. So I feel not so good tonight, but I'm okay. Thank God I am okay. So, um, but I'm okay. <laughs> so I just want you to know, okay. I just want you to know that I got my vaccine. Yeah. Okay. The, the first dose. Yes, the first one. Uh, the first one. Yes. Today. No, Today. yesterday, yesterday. Yesterday. Yesterday, oh. yeah. Okay. Yesterday. I didn't feel bad yesterday. I didn't feel bad yesterday. I felt bad to today, but just Today. with, yeah, headache and just that. Headache okay. and a little of uh, temperature, just that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel so bad because they told me to, to take the acet acetaminophen. So I'm taking that and I'm okay. What about you? Did you get your vaccine already? Um, not in yet. In my case, uh, not yet. Um, okay. Um, falta todo. <laughs> okay. No, uh, for mm -hmm. us is because we are teachers, right? Uh, but in the professional formation, so it's a different um, field. So we had to wait because uh, we had to wait until the public uh, school teachers were vaccinated first, right? Mm -hmm. That is why. But now we are we are mm -hmm, on tune tune in. Take our teacher and, and bring medicine to be nice tomorrow. Oh yeah, yes, because on the weekend is the best time to to recover, to recover from this, yeah. Do I don't feel so weekend, bad. Teacher? Some weekends, yes, but this weekend, I'm not working. Hey, tomorrow every day, you have to- Yes, day off, home. day off, everybody to party, yeah. yes. <laughs> to the pool, to the beach, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, come on, teacher, come on. Hey, come on, teacher. <laughs> Okay, guys, class dismissed and don't worry. Here I am. You can ask the questions that you want. Remember to do your homework. And I think God bless you all, okay? Okay. Have a good okay. night. Have a nice week. Okay, you too. Have a good, week. okay. nice you too. Everybody. Have a good nice. weekend. Yes, <laughs> great. There you Thanks, go. Thanks, teacher. See you, you see too. you Monday. Okay, see you Monday. Okay.
Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. There you go.